All right, good morning. We're here at the, uh, what number is this, Ralph? 100. 100, and what uh, it brings you to do these monthly cash outings? It's a good excuse to get out with friends and just go out hiking on the trails, exercise. And what do we have planned for today? Where are we anyway? We're in northern part of Guelph right now. Northern part of Guelph. Outside of Guelph, I would say, on the Riverside Trail. Awesome. And we're going after a multi for the first cache? Yes. Alrighty. And then we're going to go on the other side of the river for the next two. Oh, and how are we going to do that? We're going to walk back to the road. Oh, we're going to unless, walk all unless, the way back? Unless the ice is frozen. Oh, that'll be good. I don't but, think uh, that's going to no, happen. No, I don't think it is. Alrighty. Let's get that first cache. So it hasn't stopped us before. <laughs> Nothing will stop a Canadian geocacher, <laughs> that's right? Right. Alrighty, let's go. The first cache is in the books, and it's still pretty cold here, but Canadian geocachers, we don't care about the cold. Hey, wall them. Woo, it's snowing. <laughs> Yeah, wow. 1945. 1945, yeah. Before most of us were born, yeah. Yeah. Wow. All righty, everybody smile. Oh, yeah. GMHC 100. Woo! Yay! Thank you, Ralph. So, in these outings, uh, Ralph sets up a, a group of caches, sends out a notice for the uh, list, and you can see some of the caches are here already. Yeah, yeah a mad dash down the road. It's almost like a quick moving funeral. <laughs> so uh, now we gotta go look for the cache, get signed in. Welcome to winter caching. This is something that people in Georgia don't have to deal with. Well, <laughs> rarely. <laughs> they did the other week. We'll uh, chalk this one up as a DNF. It happens. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> We are all gathered here in the memory of a black tube in a tree in a cemetery. Who would have thought? Oh. Wonder if we're done yet. Almost, I would say. Have you ever seen uh, out in the wild? Hey. <laughs> ever seen out in the wild where uh, geese all form together into flocks to keep warm? or deer or antelope will gather in packs just to get together. Well, it's a little known fact that geocachers will huddle together under a cedar grove to get warm. Yes, it, it, that's, it's, it, this is an amazing thing you're seeing here, folks, right now. Geocache gathering, warming huddle. It's amazing. Where was the first Gagafat ever held? In where was 2002? the first 2002 Gagafat? Where was it held? It'd be right across the river here in the park in Guelph. Whoa! All right. Very close. I believe 43 people showed up to the first one. 43. Like that. And how many were at the last and one? The last one was about 350, 360. Wow, nice. So it's been growing. Gagafat, that, that's held in September. September. It'll be September 8th this year. Yes. I think I might have to ditch my 1812 event. Don't tell anybody I think you that. should. <laughs> I think I should? Okay. <laughs> it was so cold one day I could hear uh, the trees barking. Trees barking? Yeah, it was mi minus, below minus 30 with the wind chill. And the trees were making this noise. Like, it sounded like barking. Well, the trees do have bark, so yeah. That makes sense. yeah. <laughs> Five minutes. That's all it took for this to blow up, and we're in the middle of a snowstorm. But we're still trying to find one of the caches as the group uh, labors along to find them all. Let's go see what we can find if we don't get lost. The, uh, the snowstorm has let up just a little bit, and I was able to find one. I'm not just an observer. Um, the cache is a small, and I just uh, we looked over for a bit. I looked right here. And here it is. Got that one signed up. 
We just gotta get ourselves out of here. I didn't much like that weather, but it's cleared up. It's not perfect, it's still cold, but at least I can see where I'm going. And we can go get some more caches.